I've been using Faro to create flashcards for Anki to help me deliberately practice Japanese grammar. I want to avoid English at all costs, and um, this is easy to do if we do vocab, but it's a little bit harder if we want to study grammar. So imagine this flashcard. On one side we have eat, on the other side we have taberu, the Japanese word for eat. So I don't want to translate it to English. This is simple. If we want to just use vocab, we can associate a picture with the Japanese word. So what do we do if we have different conjugations? Well, what I've been doing is I've been changing the picture. Not eat, I have a slash through it. Past, uh, I put a gray border around it. Think like it's an old worn out photo or a static ETV image. Did not eat is gray and with a red line through it. So this is the basic idea. I just have done it with a lot more grammar points. So right now with this method, I'm practicing going from the image to saying the Japanese phrase. And I think this is the most beneficial for me right now. And I'm using other methods to practice listening and uh, reading and writing. The rest of the video is an overview of how I create these cards using Faro. Basically, I'm writing code that lets me select vocab I want to use and a grammar rule. It then creates a deck based on those selections. I then import that deck into Anki. If you're interested in the technical details, continue watching. Well, let's look at how I do this in Faro. I'll bring up the system browser, and here's uh, where I have my Japanese how I have it organized. Um, so verb, these are the endings that I have right now, or the, the conjugations. And um, phrase, so everything I have is, is a phrase and it has four, um, four bits of information. It has the Japanese, English, hiragana, and picture. And uh, so the Japanese is the meaning as it's normally represented in Japanese, so if it's, uh, if it's in katakana, then it's shown in katakana. Um, and then hiragana is for pronunciation. Uh, Japanese, I don't really spend much time getting these correct. It's broken, um, in broken English. And then the image is what we were seeing in the Anki cards. So that's basically uh, um, what a phrase is, and I'll show you kind of how I how I've been using it. So I want a variable and I have Japanese deck manager and I want it to make a verb collection for me. And shortcut key to do that. Let's inspect this so I have 99 verbs. You can see right here I have some are uh, ru verbs, some are u verbs, and then there should be um, some irregular verbs somewhere in here. This is just the first 50. Uh, so all of these come out of the first Genki book. Um, so let's just look at one at random. And uh, so cow uh, to buy. So I have English is by the hiragana, kao, Japanese, um, so it has kanji and then the u. And the picture is just a sign. Let's see what it is. Okay, she made root. I can say, let's just say shimetai. So shimetai means I want to close. And the picture looks like this. And let's say we want to say I wanted to close. So shimetai Shimetakata, so I'm going to add the past on the end of it. Oh, I don't have past, sorry about that. It should be was. 
So now I have Shimei Takata. And the picture for that is the past, like I said, the, the gray grayed out means it was uh, it's in the past. So she may picture for tie and then to indicate it's past the gray over it. So I want to do something with each of the values. So I'm going to name the value V. And uh, the way we get it out, I have Japanese um, Japanese to Anki, and it has a phrase and file name edition. So the phrase that I want to send out, uh, we can do whatever, but uh, let's do verb, verb, route, and the file name edition. Uh, I'm just going to say do that um, and uh, this is just an example so hopefully that'll that'll show up and so I'm going to do that and uh, it's writing and it writes it to uh, a specific file so for each of those um, uh, verbs it comes up with miru morao and um, It takes a little while to write. So I should have 99 phrases here. Yep, 99. And um, I flushed them out to the desktop. And then from there, I open up my Anki Media. I drop them in. I drop all the, the images in right there and then I import that text file. So dex import file and um, I import from the same location every time so it just comes up. Open 99 notes added so let's hopefully this will work. So yeah, obote morao bote morao demo o kakeru kakete morao demo o kakete morao so it's a it's a pretty uh, painless process to get them imported into Anki one of the issues that I run into uh, pretty often is that I run into syntactically correct but semantically incorrect sentences so an example of this in English is colorless green ideas sleep furiously and for my purposes, um, rather than take the time to worry about the special cases on the code th side of things, I just instead delete them when I see them in Anki.